Uh, again, want to thank uh, you know everybody who came out tonight with the blackout. I thought the atmosphere was was awesome. It was electric. Uh, third down was really loud, and um, you know a couple a couple drives there in the uh, third quarter. I thought you know the crowd really played into it. Uh, we get the missed field goal, a couple three and outs, and uh, and that that I thought was really important to play good in the third quarter. And, and the crowd was awesome all night, and uh, really appreciate Buckeye Nation and their support. So take any questions. Over here to the right, Jared. Ryan, what would you? <laughs> say was the biggest change from the first quarter to the second quarter? Well, uh, we got off schedule a little bit. We knew it was going to be hard uh, to run against these guys. It always is. Uh, but on third down, we didn't do a great job um, you know, for a couple different reasons. Uh, and, then, and then we hit a third down in the second quarter, big third down conversion. I think it was the KJ. And then we got into a rhythm. And then we kind of go. And, and I think maybe we warmed down a little bit more in the second, second quarter. Um, you know, I didn't want to play too fast and, and, and keep, keep our defense on the field at points during the game. But then there were other times we picked up the pace and we ended up getting 74 plays. And, and that's a good day for us. And I think when we can play with depth and we play 74 plays, you can maybe wear some teams down. And I think, I think we did that at times. Um, but, but they're stout in there and it's hard to run. And, and uh, so it was hard early on. We knew that was going to happen, though. Um, but we did face adversity. I mean, that was not a good, ha good uh, quarter of football on offense. And, and, uh, but Again, when you're playing against a team like Michigan State, things like that are going to happen. You have to respond, and I thought we did. Over to the left, far left, uh, Bill. Are you glad in a way that you did really have a legitimate test tonight, that you're not going into the second half of the season without having been tested? I, I feel like we just beat uh, a top 25 team at home in a great atmosphere uh, against a really well-coached team, a really good defense, a really good quarterback. Uh, we had to play 60 minutes of football. Um, to hold them to 285 and, and to have 529, um, you know, that, that's a good day. And I, and I think the best part about that is, you know, we all kind of got off the field feeling like uh, we can't wait to get on the film and figure out where we can improve. Over here to the right, Clay. Uh, Coach, uh, J.K. Dobbins, uh, 826 yards through the season right now. Um, how impressive was the 67-yard touchdown from your vantage point? And have you seen a transformation in his speed from last to this? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I mean, that was a home run hit right there that I think really changed the game. Um, you know, but to that point, we started to get it going a little bit, but that kind of shifted and, and turned it in, I think, almost to a 300 point, I mean, excuse me, a 300 yard quarter. Yeah. And uh, anytime you can hit home runs like that in a run game, boy, it's a huge one. But again, to me, you know, it's one thing to go, you know, a 20 yard gain, but to come out the back end and, and like, was it 60 something yards? Yeah, 67 yards, that, that's a game changer. And, and to your point, uh, you know, there were times in the past where maybe he'd get a little tired when he gets to like that 40 yard range, but he came out the back end of that thing, and that was really good to see. Over uh, for sure. Over to the left, Steven. Coach, you got a quarterback who just threw his first interception as a college football player. Is there much of a conversation with him when he comes over to the sideline about what happened? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the conversation was I told him it was my fault. Um, the, the look was not the one that we wanted in that, in that look. Uh, and, and the thing I told them is I'm not always going to be right. You've got to make me right sometimes. And, and when the look isn't right, you've got to throw that ball into the stands and we've got to live to see another down. Uh, but that's my fault. That's not his fault. Um, that was not the look we wanted on that play. And, uh, and so I'll take the blame for that one. Over here to the right, Austin. Ryan, how much more do you learn about Justin in games where it's not all perfect the way it maybe was or seemed to be the first five weeks? That's what I've been really looking forward to seeing how he was going to respond because early on I mean, there was some mistakes made. That was not a good quarter of football, but that was good. It was hard, you know, kind of guys digging at each other, grinding and kind of yelling at each other and say, we got to figure this thing out. And then we did. And, and that was uh, one of those boxes you check off. Over to the left, Doug. Ryan, before the season, you had kind of talked about this six game chunk before the first buy that yeah. almost felt like you, you maybe thought it would be almost a learning experience before you guys could sort of reset. You're six and zero. the way you're playing How's it going? Well, I think that the chemistry of the, uh, the team is um, very good. I think the leadership is strong. I think that um, we're playing tough. I think that we can learn a ton from this game, though. And I think that this is a perfect opportunity to sit back and look at these six games, evaluate where we've gone, where we are, and where we're headed. Um, but but this, this, was, this was the perfect game to kind of do that. And um, uh, you know, again, you're going against a really good defense with really good players, you know, really good quarterback. And, and so, you know, they exposed some things that maybe we got away with in, in, in the last couple of games. And so uh, that the best thing to do is now get on the film and, and, and work on it to get better. Over here to the right, Tim. Yeah, Ryan, a couple of quickies. Number one, I, 
what is it to specifically they were getting done up front defensively that uh, gave y'all problems? And number two, how satisfying is it at this point to have almost an answer for anything a team brings at you from a big play standpoint, if you follow my drift? Well, they, they do a lot of things. They always ha when I say always, I mean the majority of the time they have an extra guy in the box. Whether you yeah you, you you're playing an eleven personnel, twelve person, they always have another guy in the box. That's why they've been so good at run defense over the years, and it's it's very hard to run the ball against them. Um, and you, you got to wear them down. You have to wear them down, and uh, you got to cover them up. The running backs have to turn four yard runs into six. And, and, and then and then eventually over time, if you can start to run on them, you can maybe start to crack some. Um, and, and that's kind of what happened. But uh, the key to that is some of those play action passes. Those kind of got us going a little bit. The big one to Ben was huge. And, uh, and I think that's some of those ones that we hit on the outside. You know, as we were going with tempo, I thought really helped us get into a rhythm. Um, so, uh, you know, again, I, I thought we responded well, made some adjustments, and went from there. Far left. Ari? Hey, Ryan. Uh, Damon Arnett didn't play in the second half. Do you have an update on what happened with him? Uh, no, the the, uh, the staff uh, you know kind of got him out of there, and so uh, I mean he's going to be fine, but but they're going to evaluate him tonight. Um, also, with um, the way that Justin came out, it kind of seems like it was a little bit easy for him at times this year with his talent level. Um, with coming out for the first two drives, and you know maybe sensing that first bit of oh no of his young career, how did he handle that? Have you guys been preparing for that moment, and what was your you know, thought process with the way that he handled that. Yeah, I mean, those dri those drives weren't good. We didn't do a good job on third down, and um, you know, it, it wasn't just Justin though. It was it was everybody up you know up front, and uh, you know, some guys on the perimeter not doing a great job, and uh, we were kind of just moping around a little bit early on. And uh, but as the leader of the offense, you're in charge, so you're ultimately responsible for it, and we got to get it right. And the same thing with me, you know, or the coaches. You know, we we're, we we got to take ownership of this too and figure the problems out. And um, but that's what playing against a team like Michigan State in the Big Ten, a conference game like this, um, is. It's just hard. It's a grind. It's gritty, and uh, and, I, and it was great to see the guys respond, especially in the second quarter. Folks, we're going to only have time for a couple more because I've got players out here, and I don't want to lose them. Front row, right here, Nathan. Uh, what went into the decisions at, at right tackle tonight? And it's also, what did you like about the way the offensive line, how they played as the game went on? Yeah, I want to see well, when we get on the film what it really looked like. But to me, it looked like they, they were just, they were, they were fighting in there. I and mean, those guys are good. I mean, up front, they're as good as, you know, we'll play. And it was a fight. And it's not going to be always clean. You're not just going to knock guys down, you know, 15 yards into the backfield and finish guys down the field against the defenses like this. So I thought it was tough. I thought it was it was real hard. And I thought the other part is that was the first time we had to get the game into the second half. And you know uh, you could see guys you know working through that. And I know you know both sides of the of the ball felt the fatigue. But but I thought we fought through it and showed some toughness. Um, and then the right tackle. You know we're we're rolling those guys. You know I think they both uh, deserve to play and they are. Uh, back row right. Uh, This defense would play good football. What do you like best about what you've seen from these guys six games into the season? Uh, there, there's a lot that goes into it. I, I thought um, going into the game, our tackling and running the ball in pursuit was, was really good. Uh, I don't know if that was the case tonight. Uh, I think there was some tackling uh, you know, issues at points. But uh, we'll watch the film and kind of work through that. Again, 65 plays, 285 yards. <clears throat> That's a pretty good night. And uh, you know, proud of the way those guys played, proud of the emotion that they play with. I think we're getting after the quarterback. We're playing, you know, really good coverage. You know, you can see guys, especially on third down, really locked in in the coverages. Um, so I think they've been playing tough and playing with emotion. I thought that the, to get the stop and then the missed field goal, uh, at, you know, to start off the third quarter was really important to dig in right there, especially after they had got a fir couple first downs. Uh, that was that was Chris with that question. We're going to go Bill, Rob, and then Tony. And then we're going to end it. Go ahead, Bill. Ryan. Um We've seen in the past here, and in other places too, have this, these type of quarterbacks that if, if the offense is slow going or things aren't going great, if you start running the quarterback a little bit, things might loosen up some. H how much are you still having the conversation in your head about how much you want to expose Justin in, in designed quarterback runs? Uh, every second of my, my night, you know, that's, that's constant. Um, and, and we called some when we needed him. And when he, when he needed to, he did a good job with his feet. He had 84 yards rushing. I mean, those were big yards. And, uh, the impact that it can have is huge, as you can see. That kind of kept us going when, when it was getting it was tough sledding in there. And he's a competitive guy. He, he made a lot of plays, and uh, you know, hats off to him and his toughness. You know, lowering his shoulder in there, and you know, the goal line run that was a hard run. There wasn't much there, and uh, you know, give him a lot of credit. Front row left, Rob. 
Yeah, every game's a chess match. Nebraska ran the wishbone. You get a wrinkle every time. Did Michigan State do anything different that uh, you guys had to adjust to? Seems like every team does that. Uh, no, no, they 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 run the same defense they have. I mean, uh, you know, they were they were blitzing, uh, you know, more than maybe they had coming into the game, but it wasn't anything that we hadn't seen before. Six games in, how are you adjusting? We've talked about the players. How do you feel about the play calling where you have kind of evolved here? Uh, hard to say. It, it's it's not just me. It's it's the whole uh, staff and the whole offense. You know, I think we're all in the thing in this journey together, trying to figure this out and. I think our in-game adjustments and communication has uh, really been pretty solid this year. And, you know, Stud and Kevin talking about the run game and, and then, you know, Mike, you know, and I kind of in Heartline talking about uh, the pass game and what we like in between series. And they're doing a great job because I'll click over and get over with the defense a little bit to make sure I'm, I'm in tune with what's going on there and in special teams. And then I'll click over and, and get some real good feedback on what they like coming in uh, to the next series. And, and that's really important. It helps me as I'm going back and forth. You just feel a lot more comfortable than you did game one? Yeah, do. And final questions, uh, back row left, Tony. Ryan, you've been preaching toughness since you took over. This is a tough game. I'm just wondering your your assessment of that area immediately after the game. I thought, you know, to, to beat a team like this, you have to play tough. And we talked about going into the game, um, and, and I thought we did. And, and to finish off these six games tough, and, um, we, we gave the game ball to, to, to Coach Mick because – He's the guy that um, this whole thing is built upon. He's the backbone, and he's the blood that, that runs through this whole program. And, and you know, to say we're tough, it's, it's because of him and his strength, strength staff and all the work that they put in with these guys. And then our coaching staff obviously getting on the field and doing the same thing in the meeting room. And uh, it's everybody involved, and, and we're, all, we're all into this thing. And I think they're taking a lot of pride in being tough. Coach, thank you very much.